This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham and I have got Carolyn Kelly with me and Freya Eboy. Thanks for coming, Freya. <laughs> Freya and I know each other from St. Francis School, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> and we're here today, Carolyn, you brought Freya here today. It is uh, Angel Syndrome Awareness Day, February 15th, and that is what Freya has been diagnosed with. So we're going to talk a little bit about that and then we're going to talk about you in general. Okay, Freya? <laughs> okay, okay. So Carolyn, let's talk about Angelman Syndrome. What is that? Um, so Angelman Syndrome is um, a... I'm sorry. That's okay. No, that's okay. Um, th there's lots of signs for, for Angelman Syndrome too. Like the, the, yeah. yeah, so it's a, a deletion on the 15th chromosome and um, it comes with yeah, different signs. So. Um, Developmental delays. Developmental delays, yeah. Seizures, um, happy, excitable personality, which Freya definitely has. Mm -hmm. um, sleep disorders, and uh, sometimes fascination with water. Oh, yes. Is one okay. of them. That mm -hmm. was one of the ones that helped diagnose her. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when she was born, did you know she had Angelin syndrome? No, she was um, diagnosed by the age of two. Okay. So she she did have some eye issues, and um, a few of the doctors just thought that maybe she was seen double, so that's why she was delayed in her development, because um, she was completely hitting all her mi milestones until like the age of nine months. And so up to that point. Yeah. 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 Oh, she's a mover. She's a rocker, <laughs> yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so then, right after her eye surgery, when she was like one. The uh, doctor sent her to genetics, and then she was diagnosed like two months before she turned two. Oh, so she's had eye surgery. Yeah, and that was because of double. Um, it's it like kind of links in like it's one of the on the list of things that can happen. So um, her eyes just didn't align quite right, so okay. she had to have surgery to tighten up the muscles. Okay. Now I, I find it interesting with one of the the symptoms or uh, of Angelman is being happy, and that's definitely Freya. Yes, definitely Freya. She's usually very, very happy, like very excitable, and yes. uh, enjoys life. Yes, yeah. she can bring a smile to everybody around her. That's right. Hey. That's right. That's right. Oh, she loves her mom. She, <laughs> she loves does. her mom. So yeah, she she goes to St. Francis School. Yeah. And how how does school look like to Freya? Um, so she is known by everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody's always very happy to see her. Um, she's in the grade one class and kindergarten class. She switches halfway through the day. So she gets to do lots of playing with different kids. Yeah, and on um, February 15th, we're encouraging people to wear blue. I've got yes. this beautiful t-shirt. You're wearing the same one. Yes. I've borrowed this one from Marlene Hull. And the school's trying to set it up that everybody in the school wears blue that day as well, so. Okay, okay. And we were talking earlier about support groups. Uh, there's somebody you know in Kingston yes. that has a, a child that's diagnosed with Angelman as, as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, and th that's got to be great to have the support out there. Yeah, and the genetics doctor is the one that like hooks us up with somebody nearby, gives us their information so we can talk with them. Okay, okay. Now we were talking too about symptoms, uh, uh, Freya, eating and digestive problems. How does she do with that? Um, pretty good uh, she eats really well um, she will like overfeed herself so we just have to monitor like giving her little bits at a time mm -hmm. um, but other than that she's really good at eating all right she now we're, we're noticing she's got something in her mouth and I love the, the word you <laughs> gave that <laughs> yes this is her tulery tulery hey this one's a nice cream cone so this stops her from putting everything around her in her mouth or it's to help stop that she does like to be chewing on something all the time, so it's just a sensory. And you're uh, trying to teach her that that's okay to put that in your mouth. Yes. That's right, that's right. Now, I, I saw Freya at uh, St. Francis School, the before and after school program, and she was uh, with the, the program that they took some presents up to the, the Salvation Army Church. So she oh, was involved nice. in that yes. too, so she brought some presents up and she was giving the presents to some of the the children in need so that was nice she gets involved in all, a lot of stuff yeah 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 that's right hey, that's you're very right. social too Faye so he, she's in a wheelchair right now but she is mobile uh, she can walk holding on to like our hands but she's very unbalanced which is another thing with angel man is imbalance issues so um, she just needs a little bit of help to walk when she does walk right 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 
So uh, you know what? When when I when I see her, I see she, uh, happiness. I see joy, mm -hmm. <laughs> and and that's what we want people to see. Yeah. When when they see Freya, to come up to talk to you, you know, ask questions if they want to, but to meet Freya. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. She knows so many people. She knows so many people. You love being outside too. I've seen you outside <laughs> in the snow. I've seen you outside in the summertime. And you like to move furniture. She's going to be an interior decorator. <laughs> yes, she is already. That's right. That's right. So on February 15th, we're encouraging everybody to wear blue. And it's uh, to raise awareness for Angelman Syndrome uh, on that day. I believe that's a Wednesday. Yeah. Yes, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, that's right. And you know what? I got to say, <coughs> if there was an award for best dressed in Smith Falls, you'd get it, Freya. She does like to wear her dresses. Yes, she, looks, she always looks so pretty. You do. Mm -hmm. You got so many pretty clothes. You're a fancy girl. And one thing I got to say, too, she's very, very strong. Yes. I've, I've played ball with her, and oh my goodness, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's her favorite thing, playing with those balls, for favorite sure. Balls. Well, I thank you for coming here. I know you came here before you had to go to school today, Freya. Yes. And, uh, oh, there you go. There you go. Come on over. Can you come over here? Oh. I know we walk at school, too, sometimes, don't we? <laughs> come on, there you go. There you go. Sure you can. Look at you go, girl. <laughs> Look at you go. You can do it. You hey. can do it. Yep. Good That's job, cool. Freya. Here, turn around and show everybody. This is Freya, everybody. <laughs> this is Freya. And February 15th is Angelman Syndrome Awareness Day. We want everybody to wear their blue. You don't have to get a t-shirt. You can if you want. Yes. But uh, everybody, let's wear blue on February yes. 15th. Thank you for joining us, Freya. Hey, thanks for having us. I uh, like the walk. We're doing the runway. We like that. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Freya. Let's wear blue on February 15th. <laughs>